All right, on this video, we're all gonna be surprised because my buddy, Aaron Watson, no, not the musician, sent me a pair of boots and I have no idea what's in here. So let's find out. Now it is a really cool thing to have people around you who you can share boots with if you start collecting boots and try to find some on eBay. They don't quite fit right, you can't return them. So it's nice to have somebody near you who might be able to get some use out of those boots. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that Aaron Watson has sent me a few pairs. I sent him the Dan Post Diamond Pro Full Quill Ostrich last year, and now he's sent me another pair that doesn't quite fit him, but he thinks they will fit me perfectly. <laughs> I'm really pumped to see what is in this box. So let's open her up and find out what's in here. Okay, oh my gosh. I can see they're black a little bit. What is this? What is this? Whoa! Oh, sweet! Look at that, it looks like a black bull hide. Whoa! What do we have here? They're Nakonas! They're Nakona boots, and they are a 12B. No way! Aaron, you found some narrow boots? Woo! Nakona 12B. Look at that. We have a stacked leather heel, a leather outsole here, which is barely used at all, and a hard leather insole. Wow, this is a nice boot. This is a made in the USA Nakona. Holy shit. This is a great boot. Jeez, I gotta try this boot on. Wow, oh no way. These fit perfect. Right when I put these on, I had that nice pop. Oh, it's perfect. Wow, this boot feels great. Oh my gosh. It's a thick leather, but wow, does it feel great. It's the perfect fit. <laughs> There's so few times when I actually experience the perfect fit. <sighs> Oh my gosh, such a great fitting and feeling boot. The traditional make of the hard leather insole with a B width. Oh man, tough as hell and feeling great. Jeez, Aaron, thank you, man. What a great looking boot, great feeling. Jeez. I don't have all that extra leather that I usually do down there. I don't think I do. Usually 11 Ds and 10 and a half Ds. They usually get sloppy around the arch of my foot. It's so nice to see so much less sloppiness right there. Every 11D and 10D, when I see myself standing in them and I try to edit the footage, it's just like, man, that looks sloppy right there. But, <laughs> man, I finally have <laughs> the perfect width. That is a great feeling boot. Jeez. Aaron, thank you. There we go. Yo. Yo. Your beard got so much longer since last we talked. Bro. Bro. Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> How you been, man? I've been awesome. Thank you so much for these Nakonas, man. What's the story behind this? Okay, so um, I've perused, uh, you know, Hewlett and Dunn a lot, obviously. Uh -huh. This was very long time ago, last year at some point. 
um, and I had been working on some trade deals and um, I picked up a couple boots. I actually asked your opinion uh, on the two boots at the time. On this and one here? <laughs> I asked on that one and an ostrich pair with some brown piping. What I say on this one? <laughs> uh, of course you like that one more because the ostrich, the black ostrich one had the brown piping and it has a brown weld. Um, but I, I don't mind the black and brown as long as it's not, you know, gaudy. And, yeah. And, um, so I went with the ostrich just because it fit me better. Mm -hmm. um, and I recalled <clears throat> that we've tried some, because we wear a very similar size, but I believe you're, you're just a little bit longer in the toe area from the ball to the toe. Um, so a couple of pairs that I've sent you are a little bit too cramped in that area. Um, so I, I remembered when I tried this pair on that it was a little bit looser. Um, and so I picked them up at that time uh, when I was working on trade deals as well. And, you know, I only wore them once. They'd been worn around the shop a lot. You could tell by the sole. Um, and I just happened to be going through my closet, cleaning out space to, you know, make room for new boots and some new guns, things like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, found them and thought of you. So. Uh, I'm really happy they they ended up fitting well. They're really the best fitting boot you've got. Yeah, for real. Like I slipped them on, it was just so perfect. I I always have to do like a ten and a half or an eleven D, and it just doesn't. It's not perfect. Like very few times have I had like a that that perfect pop and the just right amount of toe space. Because if it's not a square sure. toe, usually my toes end up on the end of the leather, which isn't really sure. good. Sure. So after years of doing that, my feet just look awful. But <laughs> with this boot, it's like perfect. And my toes like, weren't anywhere near the leather and it just felt so great. Still snug on the in the right spots to keep your foot in, in place, right? Exactly, the instep yeah. is perfect. And at the widest right. part, like at the ball of my foot, I mean, that's actually a makeup boot so that's another part of the story both those boots that i that i um had you you know give me an opinion on were makeup boots for hewlett done which means that no other store ever had that exact same boot so those are actually they're they're considered custom but it's of uh -huh. course off of their you know standard last sizes and that was back when they did full size runs i think they did a's even then which was i want to say it was late 90s early 2000s were these when these were made they were custom for Hewlett and Dunn there no other store had those I think they got a full-size run and the 12 B's for each of those uh, styles were the only thing left on the shelf for them so awesome awesome they're definitely they, yeah. one of a kind thing for real yeah definitely a one of a kind feel for me too thanks again man have a great night yeah, yeah. I really appreciate absolutely. you absolutely you too man we'll catch up again soon sounds good peace all right I've been coming back to this boot since I got it. I just have never put on a boot and have it fit so, so well. Sure, I've had spiritual experiences, but there's always just something a little off. There is nothing off with this boot. It feels so good. And sure, I've tried the 12Bs from Nakona in the past, if you remember when I tried the one at Beth West, but I just didn't feel as connected to it as I do this one. Probably because I just didn't like the color and the toe combination on that one with the heel. But this is classic. And this leather outsole is tough as hell. Like I wish they still made leather outsoles like this on mass produced boots like a Nakona. And you have the hard leather insole with the leather line. The deep scallop here makes it difficult to wear with a lot of pants. Like if I wanted to wear uh, those Tacovas jeans with these, it wouldn't work just because the scallop is so deep and it would show and just look a little silly. But I think that that's going to be good for in the summertime because it just provides a lot more airflow with the hard leather insole, which is, you know, traditionally much cooler than boots with a removable foam or gel insole and the bull hide is really soft too at the same time. So this is gonna be the perfect year-round boot for several different situations.
Like, thank you so much, Aaron, and thank you for everybody who tuned in today. Don't forget to check out my Facebook group. You can join at jeremiahcraig.com slash boot group. Join. We're all having a good time all the time. So I will see you guys around. Thanks for watching. Peace. These bull hat in the corners ain't no phony. They could stand up for nearly forever From what they've shown me and I A candle, it's a seed of Supposed to know those were gonna be great Nakonas. Huge thanks to Aaron, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.